All right, Shalom, Shalom. This is your brother Shamak out of the Great Millstone in Atlanta camp. Before I get started, I want to give all the glory, infinite praises unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Racha, Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach with well in the overseas tabernacle of David. And Shalom to all the sincere brothers and sincere believers that are there pushing and teaching truth across four corners of the earth. Okay, and I just want to touch on these state of emergencies that have been. Uh, <clears throat> taking place in the midst of this coronavirus you know this coronavirus is not slowing down it is continuing to affect and put put those uh to death you know and it, ultimately the lord is you know the lord has brought this plague upon the earth today and it's causing havoc it's reaping chaos upon the earth right now you know it's, it's continuing to grow it's not slowing down man so you know i've been we've been seeing these these state of emergencies and these state these state of emergencies are not to be taken lightly okay because it's like it because these are these are uh this is prophecy as well you know when we when we speak about all hell breaking loose we 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 uh we mentioned these state of emergencies taking place man you know when the government puts on full control you know coming out with great wrath you know this this is what we think about you all we always you always hear us Israelites Hebrew Israelites speak about all hell breaking loose man take heed see how about you shop for all hell break loose this is part of it, man. State of emergency is part of it, bro. Okay? Imagine you having uh, a curfew. To the whole city being shut down after a certain amount of time. You can't go in the grocery store. The grocery store is shut down. You got to go into FEMA camps. You know, where they control what they feed you. Where they control what they, uh, uh, vac give, what, vac what vaccines they give you and your children. You know, that's when things get real serious, bro. When they, if you don't, if you don't compromise or you don't, uh, comply with the rules you get put to death by the government that though this is real deal man okay so the article it reads how emergency declarations are helping governments respond to COVID-19 so they, they, you know corona, the coronavirus is also being you know labeled as COVID-19 all right so this is and you see the date uh, this article it says states sometimes push back on federal plans by Nicole Westman on March 3rd 2020 so this is this is a current update, man. This is today. I think it's what's today, uh, March. Today's like March fourth, you know, March fourth. I think. Okay, so this is a current event, man. And uh, let's see what else the article touches on. It says the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention Emergency Operations Center, Operations Center. Okay, so look at the updates of what what states have been, you know, in a state of emergency right now. It says so. It reads two two United States slacky. Two U.S. states, Washington and Florida, are in states of emergency over COVID-19. The disease has caused by the novel coronavirus that sickened over 90,000 people around the world and over 100 in the U.S. And don't be, don't, <laughs> don't be fooled by these numbers, okay? They're not going to tell you the, the, whole, the whole truth. They're going to throw a little bit of truth in there. That's the part of lying. That's the part of being them being the devil, okay? You know, they're going to give you a little bit of number. It's, man, best believe it's over 100 in the United States, man. This is a big country, all right? It says, there is an outbreak on the virus at a nursing facility in King County, Washington, and six people in the state have died. Five counties in California also declare emergencies, and the entire country has been under, under a federal public health emergency since the end of July. Okay, so this year of... And this this is the year of prophecy, man, 2020. So you can expect all prophecy to take place on all different angles, man. Okay? And this state of emergency is one angle. This can this can start martial law, man. Okay, five counties in, in California have been locked down. And I think uh a couple weeks back, San Francisco was been on is is been has been declared state of emergency. It may seem as your days are going to are going upon earth normal and normal, but the government is prepared to shut this thing down, man. To lock cities down. State of emergency, man. All right? It's not going to be a, your normal... Trump just put restrictions on travel. He, he announced that he's going to soon put restrictions on travel. You know, so ain't no more flying in and out the country like that. Let alone state by state. You know? So things are about to get heavy. Things are about to get serious. Things are serious, but, you know, times are really about to take off, man. With these, these, these emergencies being declared. Okay? Let's see what else. Uh, in Georgia, you know, no, nah, it's not coming to Georgia. It's lucky. But 
coronavirus, you know, two, it was an update this week on, you know, coronavirus hit Georgia as well. You know, so uh, it says emergency declarations allow officials at the federal, state, and local levels to mobilize quickly and activate a menu of powers that they can use to respond to a crisis situation. See, and a crisis situation reminds you of what? Us, us, us saying all hell breaking loose. You know, this is a crisis situation. It says they also exp- expedited response efforts in ways expedient so like expedient response efforts in ways that don't circumvent constitutional protections same J- James Hodge all right it says <laughs> look look at his quotation it says this is director from the center of public health law in a policy at Arizona State University he gave an example it says it lets people say if we have to quarantine 100 people right now we'll do that so they basically can take action quick as possible in a matter of, you know, seconds, man. In a matter of days, they can, they can, they can, you know, take action, bro. Okay. See, look, look at the, look at it. This is, this is going to be part of the FEMA counts, man. It says at the federal level, a public health emergency gives the Department of Health and Humane Services more flexibility to help states respond to a threat. See, this is a threat. This coronavirus is a threat, man. This is a threat from the Lord. He's bringing fear upon this earth, man. All right. It says, look, look at it. Look at the medications at the end. It says medications only to be given out in health care facilities. <laughs> so everybody, man, they're going to leave people stranded out here, bro. People are going to be stranded out here, man. All right. Let's say, let's see what else it says. It says, <clears throat> uh, they're heavily reliant on state and local authorities to do that. He says, while the, so I'm just going through the, the last paragraph. It says, while the federal government took the first step to respond to the novel coronavirus and placed people in federal quarantine for the first time in 50 years. That's how you know we're in serious time, man. First time in 50 years, we are in the last days, man. Okay? We are close to the end. Not putting a date on it. It says, I'm going to continue on reading. It says, they won't be able to sustain those types of practices. They're heavily reliant on state and local authorities to do that, he says. So these state of emergencies are not are not to be taken lightly, not to be taken as a joke. You know, because why? This is this is biblical prophecy, man. This is part this is going to be part of Jacob's trouble. You know, and, and what does state of what does the state of emergency truly mean? Let's get what it truly means, man. It says a state of emergency is a situation in which a government is empowered to perform actions or impose policies. That it would normally not be permitted to undertake. <laughs> hey, let that sink in right there, bro. A situation which a government is empowered to perform actions or impose policies that it would that it would normally not be permitted to undertake. So they're going to be doing things that we have we're not we're not used to, bro. People are going to get real uncomfortable, and that includes us. But what do we have to to keep us stable and not trouble? Our faith, man, wisdom and knowledge. Shall be the stability. Shall be the stability of thy times, and fear shall be the, shall be our treasure. Cause we fear the Lord, man. We don't fear the carnal man. You know that can kill the body. We fear we fear Yahweh Bashem Yahushai that can kill the spirit. Pertaining to uh, Matthew chapter ten verse twenty eight, and He didn't give us a spirit of fear in these times, man. Second Timothy chapter one verse seven. He didn't He didn't give us that spirit to fear, bro. All right, for those sincere believers out there. All right. He says impose policies, man. These policies are going to, they, that's, that's where concentration camps are being set up right now because of this coronavirus. Not saying they haven't been set up before, but they're getting pushed more now. Okay? This is, this is a time that it's going to cause all, all out chaos, man. This is a crisis situation. Okay? A time we haven't seen before. That's how bad it's going to get out here, bro. So, uh, let me get rather this chapter 12. Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. Okay, because this devil, the so-called white man, is going to come down with great wrath, man. So this is Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and that ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down to you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. See, his spirit, this is why this is such, these scriptures are such a spiritual thing, man. Because of his spirit, he knows that, that the time to take take action is now, before the things gets out of control. Even though they have the, they have 
they, they're not in control, man. The Lord, Yahweh, about Shem Yahshua is in control. And we're rejoicing because our salvation is nearer than we believe. It said, and it says destruction, woe to the inhabitants of the earth. That's why we're warning you people, man. Okay, we're warning you of what's to come. And we ultimately, man, giving you your judgment if you just if you're just here to receive your judgment, man, and to and to fall in that lot. Okay. But ultimately we're here to, you know, to uh to 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 fish for the elect, you know. Cause we're gonna be turning to hunters, you know, Lord willing, real soon if we if we are those men. Okay. Okay, but then it says woe into the inhabitants of the earth. It's getting real bad. Just look look at the Chinese, man. Look at them for example. That that is a destruction of woe. <laughs> woe to the inhabitants, man. Okay, but ultimately the so-called white man is gonna come down with great wrath. He's gonna come in like a flood, flooding these streets, taking over the streets. Put it to who look at you gotta think about race riots when these when these things are taking place. State of emergency. You know? These are gonna think hey, all hell is, is coming to break loose. He's coming out with great wrath, man. He's coming to take over. You know, impose policies that are not usually gonna be permitted to undertake. <laughs> man, these are serious times, bro. These are real serious times. Okay? So let me read on with second Ezra because these visions, you know, are straight to the point. All right. So this is second Ezra chapter 16, verse 67. Even if even if us bringing these scriptures out may sound like a broken record, you're going to see how serious this thing is when it's right in front of your eyes. You know, we see how serious it is when we just see articles on it. We like, damn, bro, shit is really getting real. We've been saying this. We've been. And this is what we ask for because what is biblical prophecy? And we ultimately want to get delivered out of the, out of our captivity, cause we are in our captivity yet this day pertaining to Baruch. Um, what what scripture is that Baruch chapter four? I want to say, but yeah, we are yet in our captivity yet this day. All right, or four and six, or you know one of those scriptures in the apocrypha. All right, but this is Second Ezra chapter sixteen verse sixty seven. It's it reads, "Behold, the Most High Himself is the Judge. Fear Him." Leave off, leave off from your sins and forget your iniquities to meddle no more with them forever. So shall Most High leave you forth and deliver you from all trouble. See, and that's what it's all about. That's why we're giving you this warning because, hey, if you're if you're an Israelite, the black Spanish Native Americans who are scattered across four corners of the earth, if you can take heed to these scriptures and actually believe that that the Lord is is here to deliver His elect, you know, if you could, if truly in your spirit you could believe these scriptures, you know, the good and the bad, the bitter and the sweet. Then you could you can, it's it's a great chance that you could be delivered, man, from your trouble, from the trouble that is about to hit the earth. And one act that is going to hit the earth through trouble is through these state of emergencies. You know? Simple as that, man. It's not rocket science. Alright. Verse 68. For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take away certain of you and feed you, being idle with things offered unto idols. See, they're gonna take you away <laughs> and feed you, being idle. And feed, and feeding you, basically feeding you bullshit, man. Feeding you unlawful fools that are going against the, going, going against the scriptures, man. All right, verse sixty nine. And they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden under foot. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. And they're going to also ultimately come after you know us that's putting forth this warning. That's why you see them blocking our videos, deleting our videos. You know, we're ultimately going to be kicked off the streets very soon. Hey, 2020 being that year of prophecy, man, this thing is getting serious, man. Verse t verse 71, and this goes into that uh, state of emergency. It says, they shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. Fear the Lord. Okay, this is going to be, the government is going to be madmen out here, bro. Sparing none. They're, going to, they're not going to give a damn how poor you are, how rich you are. They're going to they're going to come in with with imposing actions, man, in the state of emergency. OK, when things really get really when things really get kicking off, man. Verse 72, for they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. They're going to be throwing people out of their houses, man. That's when you people are going to realize, like, damn, you know, th life is not a joke anymore. This thing, th these times are not a joke anymore. OK, when you, when you bust down your house, then, then you're going to be crying out. But but it's gonna to be too late, man. It's gonna it's gonna truly be too late. All right. Verse seventy three. Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as the gold is in the fire. Then you will. Then you people will see that we were that we stand corrected. 
you know, that we were sincere, that we wasn't just, you know, being assholes, you know, that we weren't just, you know, just talking, you know, just talking riffraff, you know, and we actually had the truth, you know, that we that, that we were actually men of the Lord and that we weren't just regular degglers out here, man. <laughs> Verse 74, here, O ye, my beloved, said the Lord, behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. See, we understand that these state of emergencies can come to our, you know, we, we, we it's, it's camps, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's camps of Israelites in those states of California, Florida, you know, in Washington, you know, it's, it's camps out there, bro. It's brothers, it's sincere believers out there that they're going to be, they're going to be delivered from those same, from these events. Any, and these state of emergencies are going to come to across, across the earth, man. It's going to call, it's going to come to every state in, in this country. Okay, but what? Verse 75, be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for the Most High is your guide. And the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, saith the Lord, power. Let not your sins weigh you down, let not your iniquities lift up themselves. So, yeah, we got to, we, we, we just got to stay motivated, encouraged. That's why we got, we, we give each other, we exhort each other. You know, we edify each other, we build up, we build up, you know, for those souls. That's why we do these lessons, man, to build up you, you guys' soul, but also to warn you of what's to come. You know, we, we're sounding that trumpet, man. We got to warn you of what's to come. We're not here to get, because the pastor's not telling you, your, your news reporter's not telling you what you, who you watch every day. We're, we're telling you, man, we're here telling you that this state of emergency is, is, is serious, man. That it's a real, it's a real deal. And, it, and it's coming soon. It's not something that's going to come, hey, 20 years later. No, this is something that can hit this year. You see the article. You see the date, March 3rd, 2020. Come on now. These declarations are being made. They're being prepared. The government is 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 ready to make a move. All right? But we got to keep our trust and faith in Yahweh Bashmi Shah. We don't have an army. We got to just maintain the spirit. You know? We got we got to be we going to be we going to be on the move, man. Hey, it's no telling what the spirit has us has us partake in, man. We just got to be ready to endure and hold fast to the end. We want to be able to say I fought the good fight of faith, man. Okay, so you know, I just want to push that you know that prophecy. Yeah, you know that's Jacob's trouble, man. A day, a day, none like it. Pertaining to Jeremiah chapter thirty, verse six and seven. These are going to be times none like it. Never we we have never seen before. You know, times we have never seen before, man. We haven't seen all all out hate, all out chaos, man. People say civil war. This is going to be way worse than civil war. OK, way worse than segregation. All right. So, you know, this state of emergencies are not to be taken lightly and they are biblical prophecy and that they will be coming soon, man. And these are the signs. And these are the signs that are going to take place before our Lord and Savior. How about Shemiah Shah comes back to redeem his people, you know, to save his, to, to save the nation of Israel, to save his elect. One hundred forty four thousand of those sincere believers that are men in the one third, you know. And to destroy the two thirds of his people, okay? That's what we're here to here to warn you from. All right. So, you know, this your brother Shemak and Lord willing is edifying and exhorting lesson. You know, I'm gonna end up by giving all the glory and praise unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Kakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach you what went this tabernacle, David. All right. Peace, love, and safety to the whole flock and the families. With that, all I say, Shalom. Waffle ball, blah blah blah. Shalom.